Okay, uh, in this video, we'll see uh, in case of differential amplifiers, uh, how does the offset voltage uh, due to mismatch in VT will going to affect the output offset voltage. Uh, in, in the previous videos, uh, we have certainly seen the offset voltages due to the mismatch in the value of RD and uh, the dimensions of the MOSFET. So in this particular video, we will see how does the threshold voltage of the MOSFETs if there is a mismatch in the threshold voltage of the MOSFETs, okay, how it is going to affect the uh, offset voltage and uh, what should be the input offset voltage that should be supplied so that we can able to overcome that uh, output offset voltage. So we know that uh, the drain current that will be flowing through the MOSFET uh, will be given by the uh, ID SAT expression which is KPY2 W by L VGS minus uh, VTO whole square. So let us consider uh, this is a general expression for uh, ID1 let us consider let us consider the corresponding VTO as VTO1 let us consider this to be as equal to VTO uh, maybe okay plus of uh, half delta VTO so there is a half of the deviation VTO okay VTO is assigned to uh, VTO1 similarly ID2 which won't have VTO2 let us consider this as VTO minus of half into delta VTO so if, if we can carefully observe uh, both the VTOs so there is a overall variation of delta VTO so this is the amount of variation in terms of VTO so just for example suppose if the VTO happens to be uh, 400 millivolt if I want to have uh, around 20% uh, as my delta VTO if you want to have 20% of delta VTO so then uh, the 20% of this so 400 happens to be 80 millivolt if we want to have a 80% deviation sorry 80 millivolt deviation which corresponds to 20% of 400 we will take VTO1 instead of 400 let us take half of that that is let it be 440 millivolt let us consider this uh, uh, other uh, VTO2 VTO2 let it be uh, 40 millivolts lesser than that that is this will be 360 millivolt so this is what do I mean by VTO plus of half into delta VTO and this VTO uh, or VTO2 is nothing but VTO minus half of uh, delta VTO so in this case delta VTO is nothing but 80 millivolt half of that is 40 is added to uh, 400 millivolt and 40 millivolt is subtracted from 400 millivolt, which happens to be this and this okay uh, these are the typical values and the percentage variation what we are considering in terms of delta VTO let us try to understand what is the impact of this change in the values of VTOs uh, on the output voltage so we know that this is the value of uh, ID1 corresponding to uh, of course which is due to uh, VTO1 let us exactly write the expression so ID1 I can write it as equal to <coughs> so we know that it is KP by 2 W by L VGS minus VTO1 whole square this is exclusively for uh, ID1 where VTO is given by now VTO1 let me just rewrite this as equal to kp by 2 w by l vgs minus vto uh, now this vto1 is vto plus of half delta vto square you can see uh, i have taken this so then this comes out to be let me rewrite this kp by 2 W by L VGS minus VTO okay let me just make this minus half of delta VTO whole square whole square so what I'll do is I'll take out this VGS minus VTO whole as outside okay I'll make it as common factor it is now KP by 2 W by L 
VGS minus VTO. Uh, I'll take this out and then this is take this as now this is okay it is now equal to 1 minus of course uh, I will take this out and then write it as delta VTO by 2 VGS minus VTO whole square. Let me just rewrite this. Let me just rewrite this for clarity. ID1 is now equal to KP by 2 W by L VGS minus VTO into 1 minus uh, delta VTO by 2 VGS minus VTO whole square. I, I can write it this way. So now what I can do is I can just take this outside. It is KP by 2 W by L VGS minus VTO whole square and this is 1 minus delta VTO divided by divided by 2 V O V whole square. Is this fine? This is what the expression is. Now we know that uh, if this is my uh, ID1, this was the current that was flowing through the MOSFET if there was no, if there were no, uh, what, variation the values of VTO. So does this current equal to half of the tail current? So this can be now replaced by I by 2 into 1 minus delta VTO by 2 VOV whole square. So we know that whatever variation that we have that is delta VTO is usually far far less than 2 times the old voltage, 2 times the old voltage. What I mean to say is this entire ratio is a very small value. So if you at all if you have 1 minus x whole square then we know that this is equal to 1 square minus x square sorry plus x square minus 2 1 into x 2 1 into x or 2x so we know that since x is very very small i can neglect the value of x square and i can write it as 1 minus 2x 1 minus 2x provided x is very very less than 1 very very less than 1 now in this case since the delta VTO is far less than 2 VOV this value this ratio is far far less than 1 which is the case as over here x is far far less than 1 so instead of x you have this ratio which is less than 1 in this particular uh, example when x is far less than 1 we will end up with 1 minus x whole square is equal to 1 minus 2x so i can rewrite this expression of id1 as equal to i by 2 1 minus 2x what is this 2 now it is 2 into x is this delta vto by 2 vov so this 2 and 2 will go off it is now id1 is equal to i by 2 plus i by 2 into delta VTO by VOV. See now? Sorry, this is not minus. Sorry, this is not plus. This is actually minus. So, the drain current due to mismatch is reduced by I by 2 delta VTO by VOV. Similarly, if you take ID2, which is having a VTO of VTO2, which is resulting in which is having a value of uh, VTO2 of course uh, we have considered VTO1 as VTO plus half of delta VTO so now we should consider of course this exactly reduces to I by 2 plus I by 2 into delta VTO by VO this is the only change instead of having a minus 
over here so we're going to have a plus for id2 so this is having a vto1 this is for vto2 so what is vto1 here it is vto plus half of delta vto here it is vto minus half of delta vt so we know that whenever the threshold voltage is more we'll going to have lesser current whenever we have lesser threshold voltage by this much amount we'll going to have a greater current uh, if you can see uh, this is the expected value this is the change this is the change so if i tell if i want to know what is the change in the current due to v over v so that is change in id due to mismatch due to mismatch of delta due to mismatch of vto is given by is given by how much i by 2 delta vto by v o v o so as we considered in case of uh, the w by l ratios now we are considering this is a change in the id in one of the transistor in one of the transistor whether it is m1 or m2 of course as we discussed in in the previous uh, uh, case of whenever there is a change in the value of whenever there is a deviation in the value of w by l there also we considered whatever change that was happening in the drain current if you divide it by the gm value that was equal to half of the input offset voltage half of the input offset voltage meaning half of the input offset voltage is given by change in id divided by gm so why we are considering half means because it it is only only the half of uh, the entire circuit only of course there is a change over here so we are considering since we have considered the values of uh, vto as symmetrically changed whatever change in current that is happening if you want to nullify this you may have to apply half of the offset voltage another half of this will be utilized to nullify this voltage so that's why the input offset voltage whatever you are writing is half of the input offset voltage is nothing but change in id divided by gm so let us rewrite let us uh, find the okay, let us get the expression for this uh, input offset voltage it is half of v input offset is equal to is equal to what is change in id it is i by 2 delta vto by v o v divided by gm we know that gm is equal to 2 id by v o v uh, what is this uh, id this id is nothing but i by 2 this id is nothing but i by 2 that is uh, under under ideal condition uh, what is this so then this becomes half of v input offset voltage is given by i by 2 delta vto by vov divided by i by vov you can see this vov will go with this vov this i will go with this i this two will go with this so v input offset voltage is equal to delta vt meaning if at all if there is a offset voltage due to change in vto we may have to apply a input offset voltage which is exactly equal to the deviation of your the off so deviation of the threshold voltage at the input as the input offset voltage meaning if there is uh, a 20 millivolt in your delta vto so if there is a 20 millivolt uh, okay let us just try to find out what is the value of uh, let us just go back to simulation then try to find out okay now let us consider the case let me just close this so what i'll do now is i will make this 500 i'll make this also 500 let us not have any mismatch in the values of rd let us not have any mismatch here also this is also 500 
sorry this is also 150 150 so the ratios are doubly well but here we need to have this as uh, n mos 1 and let me have this as n mos okay let this be n mos 1 okay let me have this is control c okay let me take one more and then let me name it as n mos 1 so this is n mos 1 let uh, we are considering this as n mos 1 let this be having a vto which is uh, what we have considered we have considered vto 2 to be less so let us have how much we have considered it is 360 okay this is vto2 let me take it as 0 0.36 0 0.36 Okay, this is uh, 440 millivolt and uh, we are considering this as 440 millivolt this as 360 millivolt so this is what is uh, the change in the VTOs as you can see now the VTOs are not uh, 400 400 millivolt one is having uh, uh, delta VTO by 2 is now 40 millivolt this is plus here here it is minus uh, I have reduced the threshold voltage by 40 millivolt increase the threshold voltage by 40 millivolt so that overall uh, deviation the threshold voltage is 80 millivolt so that's what we have considered here you can see uh, the overall change in VTO is 20% uh, which is 80 millivolt I have made VTO1 as 440 millivolt this as 360 millivolt and that's what is reflected here in, in the you can see this is what is reflecting can you see here this is of uh, NMOS uh, okay uh, sorry let me just see okay this is NMOS 1 NMOS 1 is this okay NMOS 1 okay, let me see what I'm trying to do here is okay one is uh, actually ID 1 has to be more uh, let me make this as as 0.44 let this be 0.44 let us make this 0 0.36 0 0.36 done problem fine fine don't do it Okay, these are the threshold voltage of uh, voltages of these two uh, MOSFETs. This is 360. Okay, as per uh, this is second transistor. Let me name this also as second one so that it will avoid me confusions. Let me make this 2 NMOS 2 and let me make this also as NMOS 2 here. You can see this is NMOS 1 is uh, 440, NMOS 2 is 360, exactly the way how we considered in the simulation sorry in the uh, theoretical values and uh, because of this mismatch I will have the offset voltage I will have the offset voltage of course now let me just save it and run we can see this is the offset voltage okay let me also make this zero let me just see uh, let me not apply any input offset voltage let us first find out what is the output offset voltage save this and run you can see the output offset voltage that you have is almost uh, minus 69 millivolts minus 69 millivolt since the output offset voltage is minus 69 millivolts i may have to apply a voltage in the positive direction which is exactly equal to delta vto so how much is delta vto delta vto is actually 80 millivolt so i need to apply since the offset voltage is negative there I need to apply positive offset voltage how much positive offset voltage I should apply if you can see the input offset voltage that should be applied is equal to delta VTO in this case what is the value of delta VTO so actually delta VTO is delta VTO is actually uh, okay 0.2 times VTO which is nothing but 80 millivolt 
uh, am I correct? It is 18 volt because uh, each one is having each one is having uh, uh, 40 millivolt. So this is equal to 80 millivolt. So if I apply 80 millivolt uh, in the positive direction, that is plus minus, I will have the offset voltage as zero. Let me make this uh, 80 milli, 80 milli. If I make this 80 millivolt, this has to almost become zero. Let me just save this and then run. Can you see this is almost becoming zero? The offset voltage is perfectly zero. This is what output offset voltage has been made zero by applying an input offset voltage of 80 millivolts, which is exactly equal to exactly equal to delta VTO. So let me just go back here. We had uh, VTO1 and VTO2 as 440 millivolt and 360 millivolt. With this and when the input voltage is equal to zero, we ended with an output offset voltage of minus 69 millivolt. Minus 69 millivolt. This is the output offset voltage. To overcome this output offset voltage, which was due to this threshold voltage changes, which was resulting due to 400 plus 40, 400 minus 40, this 40 was half of delta VTO, half of delta VTO. So then naturally the delta VTO, delta VTO happens to be 80 millivolt, 80 millivolt. So to overcome minus 69 millivolts of output offset voltage, I have to apply as per our calculation, I need to apply a positive input voltage, which is equal to delta VTO. Delta VTO in this case is exactly 80 millivolt. So that's what we did here. We applied 80 millivolt here and we could be able to get the offset voltages, output offset voltages zero. We can also do a small change here. What I'll do, I will, I will just make this, uh, I will make uh, this as lesser than, okay, let me make it uh, maybe 410. Uh, may not be 410. Let me make it 0.39. Uh, let us make this 0.39. That is now you are reducing it by 10 millivolt. Let me increase it by 10 millivolt. So when I say increase it by 10 millivolt, it will be 0 0.41. 0 0.41. So now what we have now is uh, the new set of values for. Uh, uh, let me just go back here. Uh, I just go back VTO1 and VTO2s uh, VTO1 is 0.39 old this is 0.41 old so how much is my delta VTO delta VTO is nothing but you can, you can take it as how much is the difference so difference is 20 millivolt 20 millivolt it is 410 that is 0 0.41 minus 0 0.39 is 0 0.02, which is exactly 20 millivolt. So this is the value of VTO. So with this mismatch in uh, this and this, let us see what is the output offset voltage, which needs to be now positive. So let us see how much is the voltage. So what I'll do, I think we already modified it. Let us make this zero. Let us make this zero. Let us find out what is the output offset voltage. Let me save this and run. If you actually see the output offset voltage is now positive, which is 17.38 millivolt. If you want to make this output offset voltage zero, I need to apply the input offset voltage, which is in the opposite direction, which is in the opposite direction of magnitude delta VTO. So delta VTO is how much? So as per our calculation, as per our uh, calculation, delta VTO is 20 millivolt. So I need to apply 20 millivolt here. If I apply 20 millivolt, the offset voltage, which is now 17 point some millivolts will become zero. Let me apply this 20 millivolt. Now you can see here it is positive. Actually, I need to apply minus 20 millivolt, minus 20 millivolt and then run it and see what happens. Can you see it's almost zero? 
is almost zero. So there was a positive offset voltage to overcome that I need to apply a negative input offset voltage so that the offset output offset voltage becomes zero. Suppose by mistake if you apply the same polarity as that of your output offset voltage actually the offset voltage increases. You can see the offset voltage now actually doubled from 17 millivolt has it not become 34. So this is the issue you cannot apply the same polarity as that of your the uh, output of set of should be of the opposite polarity how much is the magnitude that purely depends on whether the offset is due to the value of rd whether it is due to the w well or whether it is due to vt because we have uh, three input offset voltages three okay input uh, offset voltage if it was due to the change in uh, v uh, sorry uh, rd it was P O V by 2 delta R D by R D. If it was due to W by L, it was again V O V by 2 delta W by L by W by L. If it is due to V T O, then it is delta V T O itself. There is no V O V coming here. There is no V O V coming here. So in the next video, we'll see if there is an error in all the three. How much should be the voltage that we are supposed to apply.